do I say my name? Is it just Quitty? Quitty, 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 because that sounds weird. Alex, Quitty, Quitty. Alex, Quitty, Quitty. Say your full name. All right, what's going on, everyone? Nils Mitnick here, fellow gearhead with my buddy. What's up, Hurt? Alex, Quitty, Quit, gearhead of Backcountry, and we're here talking about belay devices. What we want to talk about is the different styles of belay devices. Um, this is a tube style device. This is a geometry assisted braking device. This is a mechanically assisted braking device. So the first style that we're gonna talk about is the tube device. This is the Black Diamond ATC guide. Um, it's been around for a really long time. Mm -hmm. It's had different iterations. This is the newest iteration. Um, the way that this device works is that in combination with your carabiner, it will break the rope by blocking the, the carabiner from going through the device. So how that looks is that this is to the climber, the rope side to the climber, and let's say that this is attached to my harness. I break by pulling back, that locks off, Nils isn't going anywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, what's nice about this device is that it's simple in its use, it's lightweight. Um, this particular device actually has a guide mode which allows for, if you're doing multi-pitch climbing, you can clip this to the anchor and you can belay from, from the top down. But mostly wanted to just describe how this device mm -hmm. works. The next device that we have is the Mega Jewel from Edelrid. Um, this is a geometry assisted device. As you can see, it looks fairly similar to the ATC guide, um, but, but with some construction shape differences. Um, in that this device actually has a geometry that actually helps in assisting with your braking. So the way that this works is that when this device is loaded, like a tubular device, it will lo lock the carabiner up against the device braking, but it also has this geometry that it helps assist it in that the carabiner will slide into this slot and will, to some degree, lock. As Nils pulling on this, I am barely holding on to the brake hand strand and it's still How taut that is. braking. Now what would be like um, a reason or a space that you would want to use this device, maybe over the, um, the ATC guide? Ultimately this device uh, is beneficial in a sense that it has that relative assistance to the braking. Um, in no way should you ever let go of the brake hand strand of the rope. Yep. It will assist in the geometry by breaking up into the device, which will help in keeping the rope tight. When you Brake on a tube device, you have to hold that force there. If I were to loosen up my hand on a tube device, the rope is going to go through. While on an assisted geometry device, such as the Mega Jewel, when loaded and properly engaged through the geometry, Nils can pull as hard as he can, and as you can see, I'm barely holding on to the rope. That's not going anywhere. So you get that extra level of assistance in the brake function. The third style of device is the mechanical assisted braking device, and this is the classic Petzl Grigri. The way that this device works is that there is a cam function within the device that will do a very similar function in that it's going to cam the rope in a position that is breaking the rope. So similar in that Nils, I'm right waiting my end. You can kind of see how it's starting to pinch on the inside of the device. When it's in its open form, okay. you'll see that the rope gets pinched down here, and that's what's helping assisting with mechanically assisting with the braking. Yeah, you know, yeah. From a mechanical standpoint, it's pretty interesting too, because essentially what happens is that if someone moves quickly, if you're falling, right, um, the friction on this lobe will then trigger the cam to engage, and then when that cam engages, it creates a pinch point at the inside of the device, which then stops the rope. So as long as um, the device is weighted and engaged, then it acts as a um, mechanically assisted yeah. brake. Yeah, 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 yes. Cool. So simply put, all these devices do the same thing. They arrest the fall. Yep. They are ultimately built and made for you to stop from your partner falling by breaking. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the guide, ATC guide, does it in a ma very manual way, but it's tried and true, lightweight, is less expensive. Mm -hmm. The Mega Jewel from Edelrid, geometry assisted, uh, 
still pretty pretty simple in its design. Yeah. It does require that manual lock off, mm -hmm. but as soon as you get that geometry assisted, it's pretty safe and secure. And kind of similar to the guide, that one also looks very lightweight yes, as well. Yes, very lightweight. Right, if something maybe, um, if, if weight and carrying things is kind of a constraint that you're trying to factor into what you're getting into for the day. Great point. Uh, and then with the Petzl Grigri, this is a, as you can see, it's a singular tube device in that, in that it, it can only take one strand of the rope. The mm -hmm. limitations to this device is without fixing a rope, you can't repel. If you're trying to do a two strand repel, you can't do it with this unless you use some pretty complex techniques like a beaner block or something like that. Yep. But you do get the benefit of the me mechanically assisted device. Yeah, and you know, I think something to add too, right, is that your, your lighter weight options maybe require a bit more um, attentiveness and, and effort to operate the device. Yes. Um, <laughs> but again, you have less weight you're carrying around. Right. Um, something that's nice with the Grigri is if you're in, uh, you know, maybe you're sport climbing, you don't have as much of a approach, you're not as concerned about the weight of this device, and uh, maybe someone that you're climbing with is gonna be taking a lot of breaks, they're gonna be required to like stop on the rope a lot, and it, it's kind of a nice, added layer of safety and uh, ease of use For to sure. have the mechanically um, brakes device in that scenario. Yeah, and as far as the disciplines we're climbing that these are the, these styles are best attuned for, the Grigri is best for gym uses, sport climbing, where you're catching a bunch of falls, mm -hmm. your partner may be hang-dogging, trying to bounce back up the mm -hmm. rope, and mm -hmm. you want to have that assistance. Uh, the Mega Jewel is great in applications in alpine conditions. This is a lightweight device. Um, it's also good for ice climbing. Um, it is great for track climbing as well. It has a guide mode that operates uh, that operates well. So this is a great device for that. And then honestly, the ATC guide is a great device for everything. These styles of devices are, are best to teach somebody how to belay because they'll teach you proper technique, yep. proper braking yep. uh, technique, brake under slide. Um, yeah. We're not gonna go into that in this video, but mm -hmm. ultimately my, the recommendation would be to Learn on a device like this. It would be great if you graduated to a mechanically or a geometry assisted device. Um, they do also make devices that are single tubular geometry de de uh, devices. There's an ATC pilot that is a geometry assisted, but it, it actually functions in a very similar manner, manner as the tube device, mm -hmm. um, which is a great device for the gym to learn on. There's a lot of different uses for these. Yeah. Uh, better applications than others, um, but wanted to kind of break down what the differences are in these belay devices. What is the safest belay device? The right answer for that is, honestly, the safest belay device is the one that you feel most comfortable using, that you know how, know how to use correctly, um, because that's the device. They all work, they're all, they're all designed to work, they're all designed to break, arrest a fall. Um, so the one that you feel the most comfortable using is the correct answer. Awesome, hopefully you learned something about belay devices. Uh, if you have any more questions, make sure to reach out to a gearhead. And if you liked the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Until then, see you out there.